So MailChimp has around 12 million customers globally and is reigned as the number one email marketing platform for most entrepreneurs with over 60% market share, which is just crazy. So it's no wonder that the free version is what most small businesses start out with because it's just so damn popular. It's no wonder that since I released this video over a year ago that there's been a bunch of updates. But since you loved it so much, I am going to make this new and improved version for you using their new updated version of the platform. You're welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing how to create a welcome email in MailChimp using the free version, so how to actually welcome your new subscribers onto your list, as well as how to create a header for that welcome email in Canva, which is a great platform if you're new to design or you're no good at design like me. And I'll also be sharing three things that your welcome email must include. So let's dive into the platform. We're in the MailChimp dashboard. This is a free account. So this particular account is a test one. So hence I've only got one subscriber there. So this is the free version and we're going to create a automatic welcome email. Your welcome email is a non-negotiable when setting up your email marketing because it has the highest open rate of any email that you send. So um, all we need to click on is the automations tab here and then go up here and click create and then classic automations and then welcome new subscribers. So we'll call this welcome email. So I'd set this one up when someone's subscribing to your main list. So not necessarily when someone's, you know, opting in, if you've got a freebie or a lead magnet, uh, not necessarily when they're doing that. If they're doing that, I would send them a nurture sequence. However, if this is just, you know, you've just got one single area on your website that says join my newsletter, this is the email that you want to be sending them. So we want it to say immediately after. If you wanted to change that, you can. Um, maybe it's an hour or six hours or whatever it is. I would say immediately for your welcome email. And this is the from address, so edit from. If you don't want it from yourself, I always put my brand name. When someone's receiving your email in their inbox, this is gonna be the most obvious as to who you are. Some people do put their name and then their brand name. So say if my name's Kate, and my brand name's Green Plant Co. Um, I might say Kate from Green Plant Co. I wouldn't just say Kate because they wouldn't know who I was. So, subject. Say, welcome to my tribe. And maybe add a little emoji. Emoji is, emojis are a great way to get uh, attention in an inbox because not a lot of businesses use them. So I find they've worked, they work really well. Um, and then, yeah, we'll think you'll, um, I think you'll like it here, safe. And then the content, so we'll edit the design. Okay, in this video, I'm going to be also sharing how to create a header in Canva. So, I think we should just choose something really simple. So, this is just the basic one column format. Okay, so instead of using a logo here, I'm going to show you how to create a header. So, I'll just jump over into Canva and then go create a design at the top and then go email header and then they've got a whole lot of different examples here depending on what you're looking for. They've also got a bunch of great uh, image, like a stock image library. So there's lots of options there, but let's just go with this one and say, um, thank you for subscribing. Um, I think you'll like 
it here, just based on kind of what we've said already in the email subject line. Move that down. I'll change this font to my font, which is Monsterat. Maybe make it a bit smaller. So it fits. Change that one. smaller so it's on one line great easy and then I'll just change it to my brand colors as well so I'm using the paid version here so all my brand colors are safe but if you've got the free version you just need the hex code which is easy and I really like this image I think it's perfect for my brand but if you want to change that to another image you can just go and say you want I don't know say your personal trainer so you want exercise images or photos rather and there's lots of different options here maybe a shoe that might be a nice one um, yeah so whatever whatever your niche is if you're a, uh, a coach maybe you want to have women working together And yeah, something like this one here might be a nice option for you. But we're going to go with this one here. So then just click download and PNG and then download. Easy as that. So we're back in MailChimp now. So instead of logo, we're just going to replace this. Upload. Thank you for subscribing. Then we're just going to add that header in so that looks really cute so you don't even need fancy design um, when using mailchimp you can just use things like canva to uh, create this beautiful design so in this body of this email i'm just going to copy in a template i've got uh, if you'd like to download this template for free click the link in the description uh, but i'm just going to go ahead and um, upload that now so when you download the text template, there's all these sections which are fill in the blanks. So you can change them to, you know, details about your own business. So there's three things they need to include and that's what they've joined. So what they can expect from you, how often they can expect to hear from you, uh, as well as a little bit about you and some links to your, your social media accounts, which are really important because if you're wanting to continue this conversation, in another platform like Instagram or YouTube, then you want to include those in there too. So we'll just click save and close. And then we just, then another thing to note is to make sure you change these to your actual details, not to these generic ones. Otherwise they'll just go straight to these websites. So I don't use Twitter, but I'll say uh, Instagram. And then forward slash K Emily because that's my Instagram account and I do the rest for those as well you just click save and continue okay so we've worked out when the email is going out who's sending it what your subject line is what the content looks like make sure you send a test email this is really important um, to make sure all your links are working everything's looking how it should so just pop your email address there and go send test and if that's all good we just go start sending and the aut automation will automatically start sending to all your new subscribers it's as simple as that so if you want a copy of the copy that i included in this email then go and click the link below because you'll be able to get that one for free so now you know how to create a welcome email in MailChimp's free version. Go and watch my video all about the email marketing strategies for 2021, which features tips, strategies, and best practices to help you actually create emails that your audience wants to read. All right, that's it from me for today. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to keep hearing from me. But until next time, bye for now.